Sydney Water Police to police launch Nemesis. We have a report of a little girl wandering around lost at Circular Quay. Gavin, she's about six years old, blonde, and she appears to be wearing a blood-stained dress. Yeah, copy that. Here. My name's Gavin, and this is Matthew. What's your name, sweetheart? Hannah Gibbs. Hannah. Well, that's a pretty name, Hannah. Do you know what's on your dress, Hannah? I mean, did anyone hurt you? Don't frighten her, Gavin. Where's your mum, darling? Is she on the ferry with you? No? OK, well, can you tell me why you're on the ferry by yourself? What, you lost? Yeah. OK, well, then can you tell me where you were going? To Nan's house. Oh, so well, maybe you were running away from home. Is that right? You're running away to Nan's house? No. Oh, can you tell me why you were going to Nan's then? Because my daddy wouldn't wake up. No, you won't. No, you won't. I'll wait. Thanks. Looks like you need some help, Helen. I've got three people off sick with the flu. The rest have gone on a dry run with fisheries to an abalone bust. Abalone? Yeah, white rubbery stuff. Yeah, I know what it is. Ah, just the woman. Here you go. Some clothes. An OJ. One iced donut. You're lucky I didn't eat that myself. Oh, you're in the figure. Hey, have we heard from her parents yet? No, not yet. Yeah, okay, but as long as But does Teddy have a name? Any luck? No, all she keeps saying is Kiora. What's it, a road or a street? I don't know, mate. Do you want to have a look in there? I must have heard. So your daddy was hurt, wasn't he? Were you there when he got hurt? You just found him? What about the blood here on your dress? Is, is that your is that your daddy's? <laughs> oh, it's all right, sweetheart. Hey, it's okay because we're going to find him. Hey, it's okay. Yeah, well, there was a fair bit of blood on her clothes, so either her father was attacked or in an accident. Yeah, whatever happened, he's obviously badly injured. Could be bleeding to death. Yeah, assuming he's not dead already. Well, it sounds like the grandmother's your only lead. Yeah, well, she must live by the water. That's why Hannah was trying to get to her by ferry, so I think we should take her back out there, see if she can lead us to her. Good idea. Yeah, all right. Mick, uh, do you want to start looking for Gibbs in the book? Yeah, sure. I've got nothing on Kiora. All right. OK, thanks, mate. OK, thanks, mate. Yeah, thanks, Sarge. We're on our way. How'd you go? Well, this bloke reckons he saw her, but that's when she was getting off the ferry. Other than that, no one saw her with an adult. Yeah, well, it was just a long shot anyway. Now, listen, we've got to get back to the base as soon as possible because they want to get Hannah out onto the nemesis. something wasn't very smart was it hmm let's go uh, they 
Hey, you guys better get a move on the D's unhappy about this. Okay, what about Miss McPherson? I've got to take a statement. Oh, okay. Listen, what are you doing? Maintenance check. Oh, that'd be right. This is a stolen necklace. Okay, Donna, Donna, can you, um, um, I don't know, give her a cup of tea. Sorry, there's going to be a bit of a wait. You don't wait there to make it, Sykes. Oh, sorry, Jack. Could that... be a bloke dying out there. Can I get you a cup of tea? There you go. So, Anna, have you ever caught the ferry to Nan's house by yourself before? She looks after me when Mummy goes away for work. Okay, so your mummy, she she takes you down to the wharf, puts you on the on the ferry, and then Nan, she picks you up at the other end. Nan's too tired to walk up the big hill. Ah, so, so how do you know when to get off the ferry? After the lighthouse. After the lighthouse. Ted. Okay, Matt, let's hit it, mate. Now the lighthouse near from on point? Yeah, no worries. Hold on tight. so much I wanted to fly like one right and I got up on the garage roof and I flew right off some things never change <laughs> that's it up ahead did you have to go to the hospital to right no, I broke my leg and I had to have a plaster from my, my ankle right up to my hip. Only fairies can fly. That's right. Silly, huh? There you go, honey. Hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Wait for us, okay? There you go. Oh, awesome. What on earth were you doing? She's never done this before. Go on inside, pet. Mrs. Turner, can you tell us where Hannah's mum is? Karen? She's at work. You have a phone number? I don't know. Oh, I've got her mobile number. She's probably on the road by now. Hannah couldn't give us the address. She lives in a boat shed, Kaiora. Right, well, we need that address. Now, um, Hannah's father, is that your son-in-law or your son? He's my son-in-law. Why? Um, I'm afraid he may be injured. We found the boat shed. Woolwich Bay. Okay, you get here as soon as you can. But uh Mr. Gibbs, please. Mr. Gibbs, please. Mr. Gibbs. Yeah. Jack, uh, Mr. Gibbs. Oh. Right through the jugular. Okay, guys, we're looking for anything sharp enough to cut a man's throat, okay? Let's go, Woody. Poor kid, she must have found him. Okay, now let's up. canvas the area, guys, and let's uh, knock every door. Not okay, let's find out if someone's heard something or saw something. Sykes, you take that end, and I'll go this way with Matthew. Yeah, got ya. Detective Christie. Yeah. Travis Dewar. All right. Uh, you know the person that lives here? Uh, Ian. Uh, Ian Gibbs. What, what happened? Ah, uh, well, the person that we found inside had been stabbed to death. There was a little girl, H Hannah. Yeah, yeah, she's staying at her grandmother's. Did you, uh, did you know him well? He was a friend of mine. Right. Uh, uh, did you see him at all today? Ah, uh, yeah, this morning I, I was, I was looking after Hannah for him. Constable, thanks. Uh, you mind having a word to him, mate? We've just got a few particulars. Sure. Uh, uh, I'll give you some particulars about he's a friend of the deceased, apparently. You said you first met Ian and his wife Karen when they moved in as tenants in your boat shed? Yeah. 
Is that how you became friends? Well, I was separating from my wife at the time, and they were very good to me. They treated me as part of the family. How often did they leave Hannah with you? Once a fortnight or so, depending on how busy they were. Do you want to take me through why you had Hannah today? Well, Ian rang me at 8 o'clock this morning and asked if I'd mind Hannah for an hour or so while he sorted out some business. Mm -hmm. What sort of business? Well, we were talking about going into a um, partnership, right. charter boats. He wanted to check out some details with his bank. Mm -hmm. I said I had to be somewhere at 10, so I dropped Hannah back on my way. Right. He brought her over with a dinosaur video that she watched <laughs> until we left. Well, what time did you leave? Oh, she insisted on watching it twice, so it must have been 10.30 when we left. Did you notice anything unusual about Ian's behaviour when you dropped her off? <sighs> I didn't see him. Look, his car was parked out the front. I assumed he was home. Hannah ran down to the front door. She waved. I drove off. Right. <clears throat> Where did you go? The casino. Oh, you're a bit of a punter, are you? Time to time, yeah. Any ideas where I could take a statement from Miss McPherson? The interview room's occupied and she's been waiting hours. What, do I look like your mother, do I? Well, not really. That's good. Well, no worries. I'll use the D's office. All right. Shana, sorry about the wait. I'll have to go to court, won't I? Well, first things first, I need to take a statement. Would you like to step this way? Thanks. If we can't track the mother down, we'll have to get the grandmother to ID the body. Still no answer on the mobile. You know, I just don't get it how a woman can leave a child for that long. Oh, she thought Hannah was with her father. Karen, wait! The police are here! What's going on? What's happened to my husband? You Mrs. Gibbs? Mrs. Karen Gibbs? Yes. Oh, no. No, you... Oh, darling. Well, why was Hannah with Travis? Where should she have been? Well, with Mum. Well, Ian works. I don't go away often, maybe once or twice a month for seminars, but when I do, Hannah always stays with Mum. I didn't even know you were going away. Mum Ian said he was dropping her over first thing. It was all arranged. And I'm telling you it wasn't. Mrs Gibbs, can you think of anyone who'd want to kill your husband? <coughs> no. You know, anyone he owed money to, anyone who had a grudge against him. I have to tell Hannah. Um, Karen, we need you to come to the morgue to identify a body. It may not be him, Karen. It could be someone else. I'll tell her I'm going. Um, this, uh, breakdown in communication between these two, did that happen often? They've been under a lot of strain recently with one thing and another. I expect it was just another one of those rough patches. And how did you get on with your son-in-law? I treated him like my own son. So, did you have the money to pay for the necklace? Yes. <laughs> so why'd you take it? Look, the security in these places is pretty tight. They've got cameras, security guards on call. I know. So you must have realised it was a fair chance of getting caught. It's a stupid thing to do. It shouldn't have happened. I was wrong. Well, it's your first offence. That's in your favour. If you like, I can put you through to legal aid. They can answer any questions. Thanks, but I don't have any questions. Are you sure? I committed a crime. I should pay for it. Could you tell us where you were this morning? Um, uh, driving back from Bathurst Hospital. I had a, a Mothercraft seminar yesterday. Anyone confirm that? Oh, hospital, I guess. I was in the car by myself. OK, so did you stop off anywhere? What's going on? Why are these questions? We're just making inquiries, Mrs Gibbs. We need you to think very carefully, Mrs Gibbs. Can you think of anyone who'd want to harm your husband? Oh, God. There is someone. Yeah, who? 
If I tell you, you have to promise me I won't lose Hannah. Well, why, to promise why, me. why would you lose Hannah? She's all I've got now. Uh, uh, Mrs Gibbs, we don't want to take Hannah, Mrs Gibbs, but we really need to know what's going on. I've been a mother since the day after she was born. Um, the day after? So you're not Hannah's biological mother? I couldn't have children. Ian and I were living down in Victoria in a small town. A girlfriend offered to help us out. And she agreed to have a child for you? With Ian as the father, using his sperm. So Michelle, that's the woman, said she wanted to help. There weren't any doctors involved. We did it ourselves. She promised she'd never try to take our baby back. Then after six years, she turns up wanting to be part of Hannah's life. So, uh, when, when was this? It was about a month ago. It was after Hannah's birthday. Michelle made all these threats. She kept ringing up. She left her husband, moved up here. Do you know where? She, she gave the address to him. It's in his diary. Uh, Michelle Barlow? Yeah? Detective Michael Riley from the Sydney Water Police. I want to see Hannah. Fred, that's not possible right now. No, you, you don't understand. I'm... I'm a close relative. Yeah, I know. Karen Gibbs already told us you're Hannah's biological mother. She also alleges that you made a number of threats against her and her husband when they wouldn't let you see Hannah. Hmm? She's my daughter. I have a right to Did see... you make any threats? I said I'd take legal action. I said I'd go public on the whole thing if I had to. What's, what's the whole thing? The, the surrogacy arrangement? I wanted to keep my baby, but everybody else had taken it out of my hands. And the day after Hannah was born, they took her away. Just disappeared. After they promised they wouldn't do that, they promised that I'd be part of her life. Right. You phoned them a number of times. Did you ever go to their place? Karen went off her brain. She wouldn't. She didn't talk to me. Right, did you go there this morning? Right, where were you between 10 and 11 a.m.? Out, walking. I usually walk in the mornings. Did anyone see you that could uh, verify that? No, no, not really. You must have felt very angry with the Gibbs, yeah? First they stole your baby away, and then it took you six years to track her down, and then they wouldn't let you see her. Yes. I was angry. And yes, I want my daughter back, but I wouldn't kill her father to do it. She's got a strong motive, no alibi. You haven't got a murder weapon. You haven't got anything linking her to the murder scene. In fact, what do you got? You got nothing. You're going to have to let her go. Right, we're going back out there again. We're going to canvas the area. I mean, if Michelle's been there, someone must have seen her or her car. When well, are we going to get the soldiers yeah. back, too? What is it? Come on, sir. Sure. Shana, the offender who tried to rip off the jewelry shop with the key? Mm -hmm. Well, she seems genuinely sorry, and it's her first offence. All right. Spoken to the storekeeper? Yeah, and she wants to drop the charges, provided she stays away from the shop. And I don't reckon she'd do it again. All right. Whatever you reckon, Matt. You're in luck. I've spoken to the owner of the shop, and she wants to drop the charges. Sorry? Yeah, you're free to go. All I need you to do is read and sign the statement. Kerry, this chain needs to go back to the shop. Can you organise that? Yep. Thanks. You're not charging me. No, just a caution. All I need you to do is read the statement and sign here. Can I get you anything? If you need to make a phone call to organise a lift, there's a the phone. You mean you want me to go? Yeah, well, most people can't wait to get out of here. It's just, I, I thought you charged me. I did something wrong. Well, it's your lucky day. I guess it's all a bit hard to believe, huh? Uh, can I have a glass of water? Sure. Kerry? 
Look, um, I'll be a sec. Don't I waste the water? In the tap? What's wrong with tap water? Nobody drinks tap water these days. Shana? Got your water. Sorry, it's out of the tap. You know I wouldn't drink on duty, Sarge. Neil. Good. OK, we're going to need a urine sample as well. Lifestyle officers are on their way, Jeff. Thanks, Ellen. OK. Did you see any signs of mental distress? I, mean, I, I don't know, was she uh, anxious? Was she, was she depressed? No, she seemed fine. A little nervous. Nothing out of the ordinary for a first offender. I mean, she knew she'd done the wrong thing and she was prepared to cop the punishment. And when you told her that the charges against her had been dropped? Well, she was surprised. I guess she didn't believe me. Did she say anything? No, she just signed the statement and asked for a glass of water. That's it. Nothing. She, she wasn't distressed. She... What do you think I was thinking? Geez, this girl looks like she's about to top herself. I might leave the room so she can throw herself off the balcony. Matt, I'm not asking you anything that I, A, won't be hitting you with in about half an hour's time. And then I can be treading lightly. Two things I want to know. One, why you used the D's office instead of the interview room to conduct the interview. There was nowhere else to go. And two, why you left the suspect unattended. Because she seemed fine. I'm going to organise some counselling for you. I'm OK. That's not a request. You're on light duties from now on. Officers are here. Thanks, Helen. Is that all? <sighs> For the moment, yeah. I'm a better piss in the jar. Okay, okay, let's get into this. What's the background on uh, Michelle Barlow, Alex? Uh, yeah, uh, no priors, but she did get a caution in Victoria about five years yeah, ago. Yeah, what for? Uh, okay, damaged property. She claimed that she was uh, suffering from postnatal depression, mm -hmm. but she had been uh, hospitalised several times since. Does it make her a murderer? No, I know. Yeah, what's the autopsy report saying? The time of death? What time of death, 10.30 this morning. Oh, okay. Travis Dewar was captured on casino security camera at 11.15am. Oh, yeah, alright. And uh, Karen Gibbs, she was supposedly on her way back from Bathurst. No petrol stops, no rest. None of these have a motive except Michelle. I've got a lady on the phone, Joy Turner, Hannah's grandmother, wants to speak to one of the detectives. Line four. Thanks, Donna. Yeah, thanks. Hello, Detective St. Clair. 
Why don't you ask Hannah what she wants? For God's sake, leave her alone. She's just lost her father. I have a right. You have no right. Thank heavens. But I just want to see her. This is not helping the situation, Michelle. If you don't leave, I'll charge you with trespassing. She yes. has a right to no. know who her real mother is. Karen is her real mother. You sold your own child to someone else. Did she tell you that, I pardon? did not sell her. You handed her over for $60,000. Do you have any idea what it's like to carry a child for nine months and then to give her up? Okay, okay, come on. Get come on. off me! Okay, I'll be advising Karen to take out an apprehended violence order against you. Do you understand me? It has taken me six years to find my daughter. I'm not giving up, not until I have her back. Joy, I was looking for Karen. She's inside. Look, give her these for me, will you? Tell her I'm really sorry about Ian. Well, you should arrest her. She killed my husband. I can't prove that yet, Mrs. Gibbs. <gasps> Beautiful flowers. Travis is a good friend. Is that all? Or what? Well, it's just your mother said there'd been a lot of tension between you and your husband of late. I was just wondering. We were having a few problems. Who doesn't? Well, are you saying Travis and I were on together? Are you? I've just identified my husband's body. Where the hell do you get off asking questions like that? Before you go home, I just wanted to have a bit of a chat to you all about what happened here today. As you know, a young woman committed suicide, and it came as a great shock to all of us. Needless to say, young Matt is going to need all our support. You any idea why she did it, sir? No. No, I don't. She was so young. Mm. Look, if anybody needs to talk about this, then... My door is open, and a police chaplain is available. Don't try and bottle this up. Don't try and handle it yourselves. OK? Tomorrow's another day. We'll see you all in the morning. All right? Uh, Jeff, situation report for the Deputy Commissioner. Have you done that yet? No, no, I'm, I'm going to do it tonight. Oh. Duty of care, Helen. The moment that young girl came into our custody, we should have been able to guarantee her safety. Matt! Matt! Why don't you come down the pub with us, mate? No, thanks, mate. I just want to go home and crash. That's like Hawker said, you know, maybe it's a, it's a good thing that we, we try talking about this. Talking isn't going to change anything. Guys, I've got something for you here. Yeah, Travis Stewart and Ian Gibbs. Now, they did more than talk about starting up a business together. They already had a company structure. It was Kiora Charters. And guess who was going to get the insurance money if one of them dies? Travis, Travis. thanks. Listen, I'll come with you. Where are you going, Mr. Dewar? To the casino? You want to step out of the car for me? That's the ticket. Thanks. So what were you going to do with the insurance money? I reckon he was going to pay off his gambling debts. So it wasn't only the casino, was it? The dogs at GG's two flyers crawling up the wall. You had some heavy people, a lot of money, and they weren't going to wait any longer. Yeah. So it's either pay off your debts or wear the concrete shoes. I was off to the bank to get a loan. Oh, yeah. Banks lend money for anything these days. If you think I killed Ian, you're wrong. Now, now you think I killed Hannah's father, then drove her back there so she could find him in a pool of blood? I don't know, Mr. Joy. Would you? Sydney Water Police, Senior Constable Quinn. How can I help you? 
Thanks for coming in, Mr. McPherson. I appreciate this has been a difficult time for you. Yeah, right. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. I'll put you through now. So was that Shana McPherson's husband? Yes, it was. Can I have a word with you, mate? We're still waiting for the independent brief for the coroner's investigation, but it looks like you're in the clear. Of course, you'll get a reprimand for leaving the suspect unattended. Sit down, man. I think you should know that Shona McPherson was cleared of a negligent driving charge earlier on in the year. What happened? She was behind the wheel. The car skidded in an oil slick and it hit a tree. Her sister was a passenger in the car. She died on impact. Shana McPherson had been treated for clinical depression ever since. Depression? <sighs> should have realised. Oh, I can't imagine you're not a psychiatrist. Well, who knows what was going on in her mind? I don't know. Maybe she wanted to pay for her sister's death. She wanted me to punish her. I don't know. Feels really weird knowing what happened here yesterday. Yeah. Let's get back to the investigation, eh? Look, I'll check with some of the neighbours near the Gibbs house because some of them weren't home yesterday, all right? Hey. Hey, man. You okay? Yeah. Karen's mother's on the phone. Michelle's kidnapped Hannah. I thought it might be Karen on the phone, otherwise I would never have picked it up. I ran outside and I saw Hannah in the back of Michelle's car. I was two minutes. It wouldn't have been any more than that. For God's sake, Mum, you know what Michelle is like. I can't believe you could be so stupid. I'm sorry. If anything happens to her, I'll hold you responsible. Mrs Gibbs, this really doesn't help. And neither's you standing here like store dummies. Why aren't you out looking for her? If you idiots aren't going to find my daughter, I will. Uh, Karen, please, yeah, just, just wait here. We are doing everything possible yeah, to find her. Listen, I've got a witness who says they saw a car being driven away at high speed the morning that Ian Gibbs was killed. Yeah, she's given me the first three letters of the registration and a description of the car. It sounds exactly like Michelle's. Righto. Alex, let's go. You can't come with us, Mrs. Gibbs, but we'll be in touch. What are you talking about? She's got my daughter. Open the bloody door. I'm coming with you. Anna needs me with her. Stop it, stop it. Leave them. Let them do their job. She makes a run for it. Michelle Barlow, Sydney Water, please. Mick, she's got Hannah on the roof. She's on the roof. Come on. Okay, I'll take the stairs. Okay.
Her founder, she's on the roof with the kid, okay? You take the front, you take the back. Kieran! Kieran! Downstairs and talk about this, huh? Just come on, Hannah. Hannah, come over to us. Thanks, Michelle. Hannah? Come on, Hannah. No, 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 no. I'm here, sweetheart. Hannah, Hannah, I'm here. You can't do this. What did you say to her? Mummy! What did you tell her? I told her the truth. What did you say to her? I told her the truth. She's lying. She's lying. She didn't want her to know. You shut up. You shut up about it. You know, we didn't tell her we were going to tell you. I'm stupid. You think I didn't know? Come here, sweetheart. In our home. In our bed. Why well, did you think I'd let you both stay hang away from me and go and play happy families? Sure. It was you! You! Oh, my God! She killed him! She killed him! Hannah? Mrs. Gibbs? Are you admitting to the murder of your husband? I begged Ian to leave Karen so we could be a real family. So Hannah wasn't conceived artificially? <sighs> we, were, we had feelings for each other. There was a spark. And when I came looking for Hannah, I guess the spark was still there. But what's going to happen to Hannah now? Oh, she'll be looked after. But I'm her mother. You know, some people think babies are something you can order and then they're surprised when things fall apart further down the track. You sound like an expert, Jack. <laughs> a waste, huh? Yeah, let's get out of here. Mr. McPherson? Senior Constable Matthew Quinn. I was the officer who yeah, was Yeah, I know who you are. What do you want? Um, I can't even begin to imagine You've how... got a nerve coming here. I just needed to talk. So start talking. I just wanted to say how sorry I was, and I wanted to talk about what happened. About Shona. You want me to make you feel better about what you did? I wish I'd been able to stop it, but there was nothing... You couldn't see it coming? A woman with no criminal record whatsoever. A, a woman with a full-time job who could have bought herself ten necklaces if she'd wanted to, and out of the blue, she pinches a cheap one. Doesn't that tell you something? That this person is not all right? I'm not a psychiatrist. The fact remains, you left her alone. Nothing will change that. Sorry I wasted your time. 